Hello and welcome to Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Josh Bodie. And I'm Kelsey Dennehy. Josh, did you know today is IOS TV's 20th birthday? That's crazy. That's a long time. I Happy know. birthday to us. Seriously. Indiana football has already equaled their win total from last season as they start this season 2-0. IUS TV sports reporter Samantha Condra has more on the ups and downs from this past Saturday's game. Indiana had another primetime kickoff, this time against the Idaho Vandals, with the biggest takeaway being how the Hoosiers responded, being down 10 to 0 at halftime. I got after him at halftime, and I told the coaches to get after him at halftime, you know, but it was also, hey guys, just play football. Execute, play hard, do what you're supposed to do. And uh, that to me is, is, is a good sign, you know, for our guys. They did respond, you know, and, and we're able to take back the momentum that we had lost. The Hoosiers broke through in their rush game after struggling in week one with it, getting 239 yards on the ground, with Sean Shivers leading the way with 155. We didn't have this last year. We didn't have anybody on offense like that last year. And that to me, that's the truth, okay? And Wop kind of had that about him, okay? But Wop wasn't here last year. And so we, we lost that edge on offensive side of the football, and Sean Shivers has that. Regardless of the win, Tom Allen says there's still a lot of improvements that need to be made on both sides of the ball. Uh, that's not acceptable in my mind as far as the standard with, with which we have to play. So too many mistakes, and uh, it's not good enough. But uh, I'm never going to take for granted uh, a, a win. So, But uh, proud of our guys for doing that. Got to uh, get ourselves healthy and came out of it pretty healthy, I think. And then... Uh, Get ready for a big one next week. Next week, Indiana will be back in Memorial Stadium for the third weekend in a row as they take on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers at noon. From Bloomington, Samantha Condra, IUS TV Sports. The Hoosiers will be taking a break from primetime kickoffs as they face the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers this Saturday at noon. Continue to follow along with Samantha Condra, Blake Spillers, Gwen Parks, and Riley Woodall for all things IU football. Following a successful trip to California, the field hockey team returned to home turf this past weekend, eager to continue their impressive win streak. The Hoosiers played host to Ball State on Friday, where they coasted to a 5-0 victory. Freshman Anna Mozaleski started the scoring in the first quarter, netting her third goal of the season, while the rest of the offense produced 19 shots. The program now leads Ball State 15-5 all-time. Their second matchup of the weekend against Bellarmine, however, was not as dominant. With goals from Vanderbend and Hoffank Jurembo, Bellarmine rung up the scoring with a 3-1 advantage early in the second period. Inclement weather caused the game to pause and became the turning point of the match. When play resumed, the Hoosiers came back firing. Led by a hat-trick from junior Jemima Cookson, Indiana went on a 5-0 scoring run to seal the victory at home. They moved to 5-2 on the season after dropping their first two games. Their next test is a big one as they'll travel to Iowa City to face the fifth-ranked Iowa Hawkeyes on Friday to kick off conference play. Indiana finished 2-6 in Big Ten play last season. 